if you love to throw soft plastics and you throw a lot of medusas, the regular medusa, which a lot of musk anglers do, an underrated version of the medusa is the mid medusa. That's this one right here. I mean, I say this is underrated because number one, it's a lot easier to throw because it's not quite as heavy, but yet it still has a big profile with all the tails that go on there. The drop speed's a little bit less, so it hangs a little more, which is good. It's just a great alternative for a lot of the waters we fish in the Midwest, where you wanna have something that's a little easier to fish, still have an effective bait. In a lot of situations, you fish it the same way. So let me show you how to fish this Mid Medusa, or how I fish it, uh, and again, it's a great alternative. So I'm using a, a nine foot heavy action rod, the same rod that I would use if you're fishing a regular Medusa or even a Husky Medusa, to be honest with you. You want something that's heavy action with that. And there's no real wrong way to fish these baits because as long as the tails are moving, it's all gonna work, they're gonna catch them. So basically, I'll throw the bait out there and I'm gonna use longer sweeps or pulls with my rod. I'm trying to stay in contact with it and really get that rod moving, using, you know, move that bait through the water column and really getting it to lift and drop and activate those tails as it comes through. And like anything else, I'll fin finish up with the figure eight. So really the key is to kind of activate those tails, get that bait rising and diving, get those tails moving through the water. And you can count it down, you can fish it shallow, you can do about anything you want with this bait as long as you keep that bait moving. If you love to fish soft plastics, like I said, the mid Medusa is a great alternative to the traditional Medusa and it catches lots of muskies. The Muskie Hunter has been brought to you by these fine sponsors. 